Hello guys, this is Ademola Badmos and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification button and also like the video if it is helpful to you. So in this video, we'll be using the fixtures folder for the first time and we'll see how it helps us to achieve page object modeling. Now, it is important to tell you that fixtures folder is very powerful. As it is because it allows you to be able to store some files that you might want to upload into your script or it also stores files where you can store your locators and um, you can use it within the script now there are probably two ways you can use the fixtures folder to get your element locators stored and use them in your script you can use the imports and you can also use the cy.fixture. In order to write cleaner and neater codes, it is advisable to use cy.fixture. It is at this juncture I need to iterate that there is no particular way to really write your codes, essentially. Just write it the way you're convenient with it. But to write clean and, uh, and uh, very readable codes, trying to adapt as much as possible to the best practices, those are like the encouraged methods. So with that being said, I'm going to focus in this video on how to use the fixtures folder to put in element locators. Then probably in other videos, we will talk about how we can use the um, fixtures folder to upload files because our this is why we, I'm, I'm dividing it. The reason I'm dividing it is simply because our tests site right now is amazon and we do not have a feature that would upload for us in the future when i have a site where we can upload something we would use that site and we'll touch it but we will still talk about it in the future video which i really guarantee so with that being said we can rename the example.json file that has been given to us here or we can create our own so we can use a json file to store our elements or we can use a js file and we can use several other files. If you check the Cypress documentation on CY.fixture, you'll see that it supports a plethora of files. It, so, it not only does it support them, it uh, encodes them automatically, but there are still some other types of folders that, so other, other types of files that can be used in the CY.fixture folder, I mean, in the fixtures folder, pardon me, that um, Cypress allows, but those ones are not automatically encoded. They just adopt the UTF-8 encoding, if that makes sense. So because um, I'm lazy tonight, I will just rename this and I will remove the um, values in it. So we have, um, let me just call this elements.json. So in the elements.json, we begin to put the values that we have in our test scripts which is here so this search box would work for every search box so there is no point having two search boxes um uh, two search boxes denoted by um uh, the same search box denoted by two different types of css selector we'll just use one of them so we'll use this one so let's quickly edit this and get it done so we call this one the text box Right, and um, in the other one, we call this the search button. So we call this search button. Search button. And um, the last one, we okay we don't have a last one so we just need to put all our search query so we have ferrari so we have ferrari mm -hmm. so we can call this one ferrari as well then um, let's let's do this An iPhone 13, call this an iPhone, an iPhone, and the last one, 
Pixel Pro. So we call that the uh, Google Pixel 6. So now that we have all our elements here, so let us begin to um, bring it in. So we could either come here first and um, import um how do we import again import um in this case we would not have it this way it means um in our element.json we'll probably just first have um probably called elements we have elements let's just say we have elements and we have this done and we'll cut all of this and insert into here we'll insert into here elements so we have um this so we can now import elements into our code then begin to work but i don't want to use that i feel that it's um, a long process so i have a shorter process that i use in my head it is short because the the rule about cy.fixture is you have to use it inside an eight block so which means whichever way you import it in if you are going to use the cy.fixture it has to work in the test block because when we go to when we get to bdd we will not be working inside an eight block we'll be working inside the the step the step blocks like the given when and then when we get there we'll talk about it in uh, better detail so let us just write the syntax so we have a cy.fixture now our intention is not to just access access the the cy.fixture not to just access the folder the fixtures folder but we will also want to access the element.json file inside it so we use this syntax to get it the then syntax the then is not just to use to get the detail inside alone, but it's uh, one of those tools. It, it, it's one of those powerful um, commands in Cypress that you can use to do perform some uh, actions. Or another type of um, command you can use with the fixture folder is the each. Like if you have, if you want to iterate through everything inside your um, your fixtures file in uh, in just one iteration you can use the each and it will go through it but for now we just want to access the old the old content we want to access the old content of the json file so we can give a name to a variable that will store everything inside it let's just call it locators or just call it loc let's call it loc so what we just need to do is we have to cut all of this and paste it inside the fixtures folder because now that the fixtures can be accessed everything that uh, the file has that we want to use must be used inside this inner function that has been created so that is why we copied our code inside it so what we just need to do is we remove all of this this one is a text box so we just do a location text box and we change this one to a location Ferrari. All right. And if we leave the rest like this, let's just test this first line. If we leave the rest like this, it will still continue to work. But um, let's just test that first line and see. Remember, we've disabled the watch for file change. So we have to restart our uh, test runner by ourselves because it won't pick up any change that we just that we've just done so it's going to visit now and once it has visited oh we have an error a fixture file could not be found oh we did not complete it this is entirely my error we didn't complete it we didn't put the name of the fixture file that we want to um access so we can either write this like this elements.json or we just write it as elements. If you write it as element.json, 
it will only go into the fixtures folder and look for elements.json but if we write it as elements it will look into the fixtures folder for elements with several it will look for elements with any extension that has the name as long as the first name of that file is elements so it is really uh, important when you know that you have a um, Probably you have an element.js file in your fixtures folder and you have an element.json file. It would be better for you to be specific and say elements.json. Else it will just go and pick another file entirely. So with this done, let us run our test again. Pardon me for that mistake. I forgot to put the file name there. Um, so when we run it now, we expect it to get the search box and as you can see it has typed ferrari we and we have successfully stored the ferrari and the um the, the the search box inside the what's it called inside the fixtures folder so let's just quickly run through the rest and do the same thing for them so this one is the search box so we just do a look search box hello that um, search box so um we can essentially just copy this into the rest of the code and change the parts that needs to be changed because needs to be changed because all of them look the same actually except for what they search for if that makes sense to you so instead of searching for the ferrari here we search for an iphone right and uh, instead of searching for a Ferrari again, um, where are we? The third one. So instead of searching for a Ferrari again, we will search for a Pixel Pro. So I guess this should fix everything. Yeah. So with this done, let us restart and see if it would work that way. As you can see, it is still loading our uh, before each structure is working and it is it has typed Ferrari. It's going to search now. What was it again? Oh, we have an error somewhere there it says undefined search box is undefined oh oh it is search button i need to be careful let me find and replace can okay, now find all references no how do i find a replace okay let me just quickly copy that it is not a search box it's a search button so i will just go there uh, copy it then paste search search button search button and uh, search button so with this, everything should run finally, and now we should be done with usage of the fixtures folder. So, um, let's type Ferrari, now it has searched successfully because we have put the correct name as you can see it has searched for iphone 13 and um, for the third time it has searched for um, google pixel 6 so that brings us to the end of it so in the next class what 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 would want to do is look at the way a way we can also still make this way more simpler by exploring the usage of the support folder 
I'm not going to get into the plugins folder yet because the plugins folder, like I explained, um, works with um, preprocessors and it, it works with the Node.js to load before the old application loads, before your Cypress project loads, it will work with the Node engine, the preprocessor part. So it is best, the best usage for that will be when we want to do BDD because that's where the BDD behaves. But for support, we will be touching it. And what are we going to be looking at? You know, from what we've just done, we searched here and we clicked. We searched here and we clicked. We searched here and we click. So what if we create a custom command that will search for anything and I will click anything. We make a dynamic command that can search for anything and click anything. That would make sense. And um, that was what uh, that is what you essentially do in page object modeling. Create class objects, create object files that can perform actions on a particular page. So the method that people usually use uh, is they create a file and they put the class name there and they put the classes there while I will be showing you this method. So in the next class, I will show you why this method should be preferred. Not that why it is preferred. Like I told you when I started this um, session, there shouldn't be just what there is no two. There's no one particular style of scripting. You can script any way you prefer, but try to adhere to the best practices and things that can make your code run faster. So in the next class, when we talk about the support folder, I will be giving you more information why you should use custom commands as opposed to creating object files. See you in the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.